The playlist inside of 3Play820 is where you can easily create melts or highlight reels using the clips from the clip list. Let's go ahead and take a look. To begin working with the playlist, select Playlist from the control surface and you'll see that the playlist highlights. Now, for the demonstration, I want to work with a blank playlist and to do that, I'm simply going to go to bank number 4 by holding Alt down and hit P4 and then page 4 of bank 4. So without the Alt key, I'll hit P4 again and this is taking me to bank 4, page 4, which happens to be an empty playlist. Now, to begin creating the playlist, you simply select the clips from the clip list that you want to add. So, we'll go ahead and hit clip list again to get back up to our clip list. We'll use our navigation tools here for going up and down through the events and then the Alt key for going left and right to get to the individual camera angles that we want to bring in. And we'll select the clip that we want to use and hit add to playlist and it shows up in our playlist. Again, maybe I want to bring in this clip, we'll add that one, we'll move uh, up a few and over a couple, we'll add this one, and let's go ahead back over, get another camera angle of that one, and then let's go ahead and move down and finish up with this one. We now have the ability to arrange these in any order. If we wanted to change the order of the clips, you would do that with the mouse by left clicking and dragging on a clip and putting it wherever you want it in the order of playback. You also have the ability to adjust several variables on anything in the playlist and you use the same navigational controls that you use in the clip list. So the left and right arrow keys, without using the alt key, it takes you up and down. With the alt key, it takes you left and right through the different variables that you have. So each clip can support up to four channels of audio and you've got channels 1 and 2 and channels 3 and 4 available here and you can choose to turn that audio on and off or you have the ability to actually adjust the level of the audio. To do that you would select the audio that you want to adjust and hold down the edit key on the control surface and you can now use your jog shuttle wheel to adjust the volume of those audio tracks. Set the volume there Move over to the next one, again the edit key, you could set a volume here and you can also adjust the in and the out points in the same fashion. Come over to the in point, hold down edit and I'm now adjusting the in point and you can actually see it scrubbing in the window in real time as you're adjusting it. And one of the great things is just because you're adjusting an in point down here doesn't mean you're changing anything in the clip list. Any of the adjustments that you make down here are independent of the settings of that event or any of the clips in that event in the clip list. Remember that 3Play820 is continuously recording all of the inputs. What this means is the events and the clips within the events actually have more video before and after the in and the out points that have been marked. And because of that, you can actually reset an in point to before the original in point or reset an out point to after the original out point that was set. And remember, if I'm setting these in the playlist, it has no effect on the original event or clip within the clip list. Now within the playlist, you also have the ability to set the default playback speed. So if you wanted to create a highlight reel with clips playing at different speeds, you could set that up here without having to dynamically change the speed during the playback. Although, that is also an option at any time. You also have the ability to add a crossfade in between the clips that play back in the playlist. Again, with that crossfade selected, you can hold down the edit key and use the jog shuttle wheel to set the duration of that crossfade. They default to 15 frames. And with the mouse, you can turn that crossfade on and off. Whenever you're setting any of these variables, you'll always get a cumulative runtime of the entire playlist displayed so you know exactly how much time you need to get through the whole list. Within the playlist, you also have the ability to add music to the playlist. You can choose the music from this pop-down and you can browse any music that you imported in the beginning of the session during media import. You also have a configuration gear next to the audio. This allows you to set 
a start time for the audio, allowing you to offset the music from the start of the video. And you can, of course, control the volume of that audio track. The demo session that we're using during this training video contains several pre-made playlists that you can access by going to the different banks and pages within the playlist. And any playlist that you make, you can name. Simply go to the playlist title area and you're now ready to go ahead and type in a new title. All of the playlists that come with the three-play system already have titles. So here on Bank 1, Page 1, you can see we have Game Highlights. On Bank 1, Page 2, we have multiple plays all at full speed. We want to go to Bank 2, Page 1, multiple angles at variable speed, and so on. And this allows you to organize your playlists and easily access them and know exactly what they are. Any playlist that you create in 3Play820 can be rendered back to the clip list as a clip. Now this clip will contain all of the background music or any of the crossfades or any of the variable changes that you may have made to that clip inside of the playlist. And this is important because any clip in the clip list can be exported when we're outside of the live production environment to a variety of file formats.